Hi there. Uh, a while ago I read an article on vertex normals and I recently had the opportunity to um, actually use these and I've decided they're worth sharing because um, I don't think too many people tend to uh, use them all that much uh, and there are a lot of times that actually they can be uh, pretty useful to you. Um, so first of all I'll just credit this guy. Um, the blog's name is, is this. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, and if you just search for uh, that and the word normals um, it's the top hit and you can translate it, it's in Polish, so without further ado I will get on to why you need to know about vertex normals. Okay, so a vertex normal is um, the direction that a vertex is pointing essentially, and this is used for um, most lighting calculations um, to do things like smoothing, um, as well as to, uh, to figure out um, how well to light a, a surface. Um, so in this example I've just got a, a collection of a few small objects, um, they're all one object but these are separate elements and you can see uh, at each vertex there's a, a little little blue line so if, I, if we just look at this this one here we've got four little blue lines out of each corner and they're all pointing in the same direction and that means we get the appearance of a very flat object and the same for the bottom one here and for these sides here but with a little bit of uh, tweaking we can actually change these to give the appearance of uh, objects which are smooth to it so in the case of this uh, this upright plane here, we've made the bottom um, normal directions for these verts point upwards, which is the same direction as this. So if I insert a, a light now and just uh, move it over, you'll see that when it's um, lighting up directly on top of uh, this object, uh, it's actually lighting the bottom of this plane up. Because if we look at these uh, these normals again, we can see that these bits, these these verts, are pointing directly up. So these are very brightly lit and they're moving towards two verts which are pointed away from the light. So they're moving towards black and that's what gives us this gradient. Um, but we've also used it here to sort of make it give this the appearance of coming smoothly out of, um, out of the surface even though it's a uh, turn on the wires. It's still just um, a couple of triangles and it's not actually attached to this in any way. Um, so why would you need to use these? Um, well, in the right-hand example, you could use that for, uh, let's say you've got on a car bonnet, um, the little uh, the jet that uh, spurts water onto the windscreen, um, you know, something like that. You wouldn't want to actually um, sort of break up your geometry of your bonnet just so that you can have this appear to smooth out from it. I mean, in this example, we've, we've just got this on top of a, um, a simple quad. Um, so it can save you a lot of triangles if you would otherwise be thinking of um, attaching it and smoothing it in. Uh, and this example on the left is really great for uh, something like grass, um, where if we look at the example on the uh, the, the um, unmodified normals, um, we can see that the grass is not blending very seamlessly into the ground. Um, sort of at 45 degrees, where, where it's lining up them both evenly, it's not not really a problem. But as I say, the sun sets, we get the, you know, the grass is very br brightly lit and the ground isn't, and there's this horrid line that makes it very obvious. Whereas on the uh, on the right, this this is sort of smoothed into it, um, so it's much less obvious. And that's a little bit nicer, and you could even change these even more um, to give gr the, the upright grass um, the direction more appropriate to whatever the ground is. So if the ground's lit, then uh, the grass is, otherwise it isn't. Um, so there's a lot that you can do with the, the vertex normals um, for those sorts of things. Okay, so let's make this one on the left look uh, like the one on the right does. Basic editable poly here. Nothing fancy, as you as you might have uh, modelled it. We now apply an edit normals uh, modifier on the top, and this brings up the little blue normal direction things. Um, we can now start changing these. Okay, so uh, select by normal. I'll just uh, drag this up a bit so we can see a bit more. And I'm just going to select these two bottom ones. Those are the ones that I want to change. I want them to point directly upwards. Now either I can rotate them, which uh, I can do using the regular rotate, but to be honest with you, it's really kind of buggy. Um, and usually if you if you know the exact thing you're trying to copy from, it's better to select uh, the one you want to copy from. Whoops. Um, try to break down here. Copy value and then select the uh, ones you want to change and click paste value. That is now pointing in the exact same direction. Uh, so that's done the grass thing that we were talking about. And we can pretty easily do the other, these other ones too. Um, so let's just paste those in. And that's it.
that's as simple as it is. If um, you've done what I just did, you'll notice that I um, changed the back, which uh, in my other example I, I didn't want to do. I wanted that to have a hard edge. Uh, the way to change that easily is now we've, we've got several normals all pointing in the same direction, they're directly on top of each other. Um, we can just use uh, select by faces, choose the face, and then scroll down and hit reset. And I'll just put it back to where it was before, which is uh, what we're after. Okay, on to the next example. Um, here we've just got a plain box, and uh, we know it's a flat sided box because the, um, if I move this light a long way away, and just have this up here, so I'll be moving this here. Um, and if I move the light sort of left and right, you can see that it's uh, this, this quad here that's facing us is always lit uh, evenly. Now, let's look at a chamfer box, which is uh, this on the right. Let's say we want our box to be slightly rounded at the edges. Now, this is a typical chamfer box with uh, smoothing on all faces. But you can see what's happening is um, the the face here that, that should really we want to be flat um, is kind of um, smoothing around it. So it's, it's sort of creeping around. And we want that to be flat. And the example on the right is uh, one with edited vertex normals. And I'll turn off the wires now, and you can see the effect of that. So do you see the box on the right really looks a lot like it has lot more like it has flat surfaces which are rounded at the edges, whereas the box on the left just looks like uh, you know a bad approximation of a sphere or something like that. Um, so let's have a look at the vertex normals and see what's what's going on there to do that. So in the example on the left, our vertex normals are all pointed um, at the average most point between the three faces. Um, so let's. Uh, just pull up some examples. So these three, these, the, these are the faces that I'm going to be looking at just now and talking about. And this is the normal between them. And it is exactly uh, the average direction if all of those were pointing away, from, if you were to draw a normal, which is essentially the thing pointing away from it. And that's, it's, it's the average of it. Um, what we've got on the right hand side, though, is um, we've chosen to go with the direction of this face for all, all of these sides um, and the direction of this face for all of these. Um, verts as well. And that means that the whole smoothing is taking place just on this quad here and this triangle. Uh, and that means that this is, because because all four of these are, are pointing in exactly the same direction, it means that this will never have a gradient across it. It will always be treated as, as pointing in that direction. Whereas of course this one, because these are, this quad, because these normals are pointing in different directions, I'll just highlight these, um, then uh, we're we getting this sort of smoothing where it's it's kind of going from left to right and these aren't you can see if I look above these aren't pointing the same direction whereas these are okay okay the last thing I want to show you is um, edit normals in foliage so this is our basic um, basic example of um, foliage without so we're looking at the one on the left here um, without changing uh, any edit uh, without changing any normals and um, we can see we uh, we get uh, this horrid black and then fully lit and it sort of only um, considers the face without any other faces and you could turn shadows on and it might help but um, for the most part um, you probably wouldn't be using you know shadows on alpha stuff and also as you go past it it goes from being pretty well lit to being completely black in a very short space of time so it's uh, it's really not really not very nice and you wouldn't want to see that on any foliage in a game even if it's just a small part of a tree uh, obviously I've got a sort of full of bush here but um, okay so that's not that great let's take a look at another one that's, um, that I've edited the normals for so what I've done is I've made the out outermost verts all point away from each other and I've got uh, essentially two so that they're facing in different directions and I've set them to be one-sided um, just so they don't um, uh, Z fight with each other. So here we go. Um, what we've got, however, is we get this sort of double banding. But what is quite nice is um, as we move around, you can see it's uh, rather than being instantly lit, it's sort of more gradually lit and creeps across, which is quite nice. And if you think of this as being like a ball, uh, a ball of leaves kind of thing, you know, sort of spherical, then that's kind of what you'd end up up having as um, this, you know, would be going around and it would be like a circle shape if you looked above it, it would be like a circle. Um, so that's not bad, but um, yeah, we get this this sort of double banding, um, turn the wires off, and uh, this isn't that great. 
So uh, what else can we do to improve it? Well, this one here is just kind of a, a halfway one. Um, if I show you the normals here, I've um, where before they were pointing, the original was was pointing directly out, and they were all um, in the same direction. And the second one was pointing directly away from the center. Um, this one now we have is uh, sort of halfway in between, um, so at 45 degrees. So there's a full 90 degrees of uh, of, um, of gradient going on here, and the very middle is um, pointing sort of away. Okay, uh, and obviously there's there's two of these, so um, if you were to select both of them, you'd probably see both, but I can't show you both at the same time. Um, so how does this one look? Um, it sort of mitigates the problems um, of both, but um, it's it's they're still there. They're not as bad. Um, so that's not not a bad compromise, and it has has some advantages. The final one I, I want to show you um, has um, instead of breaking it up as a one plane here, we actually have four little corners, um, and that's how we this technique kind of works. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. At the uh, end of each one, we're pointing directly away, but in the middle, we're doing kind of a 45 degrees. Um, so as it's lit from this side, this will be brightly lit, this will be half lit, and this will be not very lit. When the uh, light is here, this will be the brightest point in the middle, and these will be evenly not as bright, as it were, um, both the same as each other. Um, so let's put that back together and see how that looks. Okay, so let's move the light around this one. Uh, what's nice here is it does move through everything gradually, and there's no any kind of double banding, um, which is cool. Uh, where it doesn't look so great is um, let's see here, and you look at it from the side, you get you know half very well lit and half not very well lit, and that's not so great. But as you move it across, it sort of mitigates that, it reduces it a bit. It's um, you know none of these are perfect, but they're they're all very cheap. Um, editing normals does not actually cost anything. Uh, in terms of um, rendering time or anything like that. Um, okay, I hope you uh, found something there helpful. Good luck.